Welcome to Naresai Technologies, this is Ramchandar. In this video, I am discussing about how to handle a multiple exception with a single catch block in Java language. Our title is how to handle multiple exceptions with a single catch block. We guys already know this in the previous videos I discussing about all these things how to handle multiple exceptions with multiple catch blocks. So, first let me highlighting quickly about that program after that is there any alternative or not if there is any alternative what is that then we can understand in this video. So, on the main focus is how can we handle main exception with single catch block. So, let me starts with uh, multiple exception with multiple catch block later we will come for multiple exception with a single catch block. Now, let me take here test again. Now, here I am taking one class what is that class main good here I am taking one try block in the try block I am writing like int a equal to 10 by 0 whenever we writing the try block definitely the try block must and should be ended with what here or followed by catch block or finally block. So, what is that exception basically arithmetic exception now here I am writing like a system dot out dot println do not enter 0 as denominator as denominator good. Now, observe guys seriously I am writing some code int a equal to 10 by 0 this is the infinite value we are trying to place into where here int a it is not possible that is what we are getting exception like arithmetic exception. Once the exception is raised in the try block automatically control goes to where catch block. For example, if the end user enter for example, system dot out dot println system dot out dot println I am writing like a ram a rams and I am writing like a caret of 3 rams caret of 3 means we are trying to print one character value which is available in the third index position of rams. Now, what is the third index position of rams? Yes, S is printed on the console very nice output device yeah S is printed. Now, for example, if I am printing like a 4 if I am writing like 4 and if I am trying to execute this program what I am getting java dot lang dot string index out of bound exception instead of forwarding the exception to JVM I want to handle that instead of forward the exception message on the console I want to handle that how can I so I need to write one more catch block what is that string index out of bound exception what is this SE. Now, here I am writing like a system dot out dot println we do not have sufficient we do not have sufficient character in that location we do not have instead of using sufficient character better to use the terminology like we do not have character in that location. So, if I am executing this program then we will get what here we do not have character in that location very good. Now, there is one more exception let me take let me comment this one and let me take let me take int array b equal to new int of minus 2 we guys know that we can create array with negative character negative size. So, whenever we writing like that definitely one exception is rises one is what is that negative array size exception and e. Now, here I am writing like one user friendly messages system dot out dot print alone do not create array with with negative size array with what here negative size. So, let me execute this program what happened do not create array with negative size will be printed on the console. Now, my intention is I want to write instead of writing 3 catch blocks I want to write only one catch block how can I do that sir very simple let me write this one. So, there are 3 exceptions 
But uh, whenever one exception is raises, remaining two exceptions are not executed. The reason is control is not going to next statement. Here I am writing arithmetic exception E later string index out of bound exception, string index out of bound exception. Okay. Now observe here. Here I am using here I am using E dot print stack trace. S dot print stack trace. Whenever exception is rises, int a equal to 10 by 0, int a equal to 10 by 0, then arithmetic exception is rises. Let me write one more thing. See, whenever int a equal to 10 by 0 executed, arithmetic exception will be rises. So, if you are clicking on this one, then we will get output like what here? We will get exception like java dot lang dot arithmetic exception. Now, observe here. If I am executing this program again, then we will get what here string index out of bound exception. Let me comment this one, let me execute this program, then what happen here negative array size exception. That means, same program only, previously I am writing 3 catch blocks to holding what here 3 exceptions. Now, uh, how many catch blocks are written here only 1 catch, but how many exceptions I am going to handle 3 exceptions. So, how can we handle this one? Try, try some content or some logic, try some logic and followed by what? Catch block, catch block, this is what here? Exception class 1 and separated by pipe symbol, exception class 2 separated by pipe symbol, exception class 3 separated like that and finally variable. And here, I am writing like if you want to print any message, you can print user friendly messages also. So, like this we can able to handle multiple exceptions in with a single catch block in Java language. This is also one of the new uh, feature added to Java language. I hope you enjoy this video. For more videos, please subscribe to channel. Thank you.